Okay. So here we go. Um, Vampire Survivors. It has some roguelike elements. Hold on, my controller's not working. There we go. Um, that you use to like power up. So when you get coins from playing a run and then you can, you know, get passives in here and refund your power-ups at any time. You can also spend that money on new heroes and they start with different powers and they have different stats and stuff like that. And you can unlock them through playing the game. Um, and then you have a list of achievements that you're trying to get, right? Survive five minutes with such and such a character, etc. And the entire goal of this game is to last 30 minutes on a level. That's it. If you survive 30 minutes on a level, you you just had a complete run, okay? Um, and the only thing you control is your vampire survivor. You walk in different directions. That's it. There's no button to fire. I'm not going to be aiming my, like, attacks or anything like that. You just try to maneuver. And it starts off real slow and easy. And then as you get upgrades, you'll see how crazy it gets. All right? So I'm just going to start a run. Um... I'm going to start a run with, let's see, are any of these guys, actually, I'm going to buy a new character and then we're going to, we're going to play it because I've never played with Porta or Gennaro. So let's buy, let's buy Gennaro and he's going to start with a dagger. It looks like, and here we go. Oops. And we, I have two levels unlocked. This game's an early access, so I'm, I'm assuming there'll be more levels and stuff as it goes. All right, so here we go. Um, I'll show you the Mad Forest. Okay, so I'm not shooting. I'm not hitting any button to do that. It's automatic, right? So all we have is little bats. These gems are filling up the bar on top, and that's how you level up. Okay, this is my first level. Now, we we can pick active or passive abilities. Active abilities are um, like weapons and passives are passives, right? So if I get King Bible, the Bible will rotate around myself on a cooldown, right? Adding to my attacks. And you can see on the top left are which which uh, weapons I have that are active right now. There's the, there's the Bible. I took a little damage there. Okay. Gennaro looks like Bog style. Yeah, like the Barbarian, right? He's got no shirt on. And you can see I've lasted just w almost a minute. My goal is to hit 30 minutes on this level. Okay. So a couple new weapons here. Magic Wand, Cross. I'm going to do the Magic Wand. I like the Magic Wand. Fires at the nearest enemy. A Commodore 64 game. You played this 30 years ago? I know, I know, I know. You would never believe that not only did I have clocked in like five hours on this yesterday, that I actually was able to get Azaria and my sons to try it and everyone was surprised at how addicting it was. Okay, now we're starting to see different types of monsters ghouls and different things i like axes all right now i got my fourth my fourth weapon ability now this bat here oh he, i already killed him there's a uh there's some like elite monsters that are hard to kill they will drop treasure chests that'll give you a random random ability or upgrade and uh or like mega experience points and stuff like that um, so I can level up my knife to level three and that'll give me one more projectile. So let's do that. So now I'm shooting three. We also have the Bibles, the axes, and the magic wand. The axe and everything has a different attack pattern. Yeah. Uh oh. Swarm of bats here. The axes will kind of like start by going up and then drop to the bottom of the screen.
Okay. Let's go for another King Bible level. And you'll... And remember that you're, you're a vampire hunter, so that's why things like crosses and Bibles are some of your weapons. It's garlic. Garlic's another weapon you can get, which I like a lot. Some of the weapons that I'm getting um, are things that I've had to unlock just by playing previous runs. So some of the weapons may not be available to you on your first one. Is this PC only box? I, I think so, Blaziken. I'm not I'm not 100%. I know that they have a website where you can kind of play the demo for free. Yeah. What does garlic do? Garlic puts an, a small AoE around you. Yeah. Small AoE around you that damages enemies that walk into it. All right, just got crown, which gives me more experience points, so I'll level up quicker. And these gems I'm picking up is how you get the experience points on the top bar. You don't actually get any experience for killing enemies. You get experience points for picking up the gems. Okay, and if anybody's just tuning in, our only goal is to survive 30 minutes. And I'm not firing. I'm not hitting any buttons to fire. All the fi all the weapons are going automatically. All right, so I can do knife level three. One more projectile and damage goes up. Okay, and here's, a, here's an elite bat right here. Uh oh, they're starting to close in. There's food up here. I gotta stick around the food. All right, so he dropped the red gem, which will pretty much give me a level. Um, yeah, let's get the holy the King Bible up to three. All right, gotta pick up a lot of these gems. Gatorade says so far you'd only be willing to pay about two fifty for this game. Two ninety nine is right out. Um, do I want to go cross? I'm gonna hold out for my my other weapons. I only get two more active weapon slots. I'm gonna keep leveling up knife. They now now to add complexity. For those of you who are looking for more gameplay, when an item gets to level eight, it maxes out. Certain items can be evolved to a new form if they get to max level and you have another item that accompanies it. For example, the Holy Bible or the King's Bible, if I get it up to level eight and then I have something called the Spellbinder, then I can evolve the Bible. And you're gonna need those mega weapons. There's Spellbinder right there. Increases the duration of weapon effects. So I'm gonna get this net. Ooh, Duplicator is really good though weapons fire more projectiles i'm gonna go with spellbinder just so we can maybe get the combo with the bible and try it yeah kenzo cash says looks super fun surprisingly addictive only three dollars type hashtag game yeah why don't i get the food because i'm at max health yeah kenzo thanks for following i appreciate that my health bar is underneath uh my my character so you can see i, ha I haven't taken any damage so i don't need it yet so now we got blue ghosts coming in. Gold you take with you out the run to outside the run to afford upgrades and stuff and new characters. All right, this is a, a feature of the uh, the map I'm in right now. These tulips or these plants, the tulips, these uh, carnivorous plants, lock you in here and they're they're a they're a pain in the butt to kill. Very tanky. And they will eventually go away on their own. I'm gonna keep going Bible all the way. Fire one's pretty good though too. I'm gonna try to get the Bible up to level eight and we can evolve it. Yeah, 
There we go. There's a treasure. Now the chest can have one, three, or five treasures in it. This is one, obviously. All right, so we it gave me 62 gold, which I get to take out no matter what. Um, and our axe levels up to level two. Yeah. Ooh, I stood too close for too long. So a lot of these these green ghost guys take a lot more before they die. So if you make poor choices in your upgrades or you spend too much time exploring the map and not farming enough or picking up the, uh, the gems, you will eventually get to a point where you can't keep up with the enemies and they will surround you and destroy you. At this point, it may look, oh my god, nothing will ever kill Bog at this rate. But that's really not true. It's gonna get crazier and crazier. Yeah. Have I survived for a full 30 on a run? Once. I get, I've gotten close a couple other times, but yeah. I beat the, th I beat this level, the forest. Um, I don't think I've done it on the library yet. The library is a much more narrow level. I'm about to get my butt kicked. Um, yeah, let's get the knife up there. Yikes! Oh, 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 oh. Yo, oh boy. Oof. We took two damage, that hurts. So you survive in one area and it locks others. So I didn't have to survive the forest in order to un uh, to unlock the library, but I had to get a certain certain amount of progress in order to do it. I don't remember if that was after 10 minutes or what. All right, so where's that chicken or that? Where was that? that, that there it is. Oh, okay. Chicken. All right, we should level up soon. Yes, give me the Bible. Rumor's like, oh my god, this is suddenly so stressful. It gets a little crazy. And there's power-ups you can get too. Ones that will like grab all the money in a certain radius or eliminate all the monsters on the screen. There's things like that. Alright, um Spellbinder. Effects last 10% longer. Empty tome re reduces weapon cooldowns. Yeah, let's do that. So like the axes will go faster, you know, there'll be more axes. The Bibles, the Bibles will come out faster, things like that. These giant bats here, they take a lot of punishment. Ooh. Wow, they take forever to kill. Taking a lot of damage. Now I need chicken again. Quest for chicken continues. Hey, FPS. 
You never thought Bibles coming out faster would be a good thing? I know, neither did I. Neither did I. It's kind of crazy. Hi, FBS. How you doing? 80s arcade game throwback. I know, it does it, it does look a little, resembles uh, Robotron, right? This is a game uh, that I got hooked on yesterday. It's only $3. Probably the best $3 game I've ever played. Maybe the only $3 game I've ever played. Um, all you do is control the movement of your character and which upgrades you get. That's it. I'm not hitting any buttons to fire anything. Um, I guess we'll go level six knife. Oh, here's chicken. At least I got chicken. All right, we got the giant praying mantis. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Is the run over? Are we dead meat? Oh, this is gonna be tight. Oh no. That's it. Lasted 10 minutes there. The goal is to get the 30 minutes. Okay. So results tells you how many monsters you beat, how much damage each of your things did. So like I did 21K damage with the knives. All right. We reached level 16. We defeated 1,673 uh, enemies. New achievement, survive five minutes with Ganara. Okay, we unlocked Pomerola. I don't know, we know what that is. There we go. So then, uh, so I have 1144 monies. I survived five minutes with Ganaro. Um, what else do I need to do? Do, do, do? Find a stone mask, I never found that. Defeat the Nesser, the Nesuferit in the inlaid library. Evolve the whip, evolve the knife. That's That's like taking your Weapons to max, and then finding the combos. Okay. Um, I want to unlock Porta. Let's unlock a new character and try it. Porta starts with lightning. Permanent plus 30% area effect. Starts with temporary reduced cooldowns. Okay. Porta Ladana. And do I have any power-ups I can afford? No, they're all pretty expensive at this point. All right, Porta. And let's try the library. Here we go. Oh, I like this character already. Hey, Dizzle. All right, let's go collect the stuff. So this is a very narrow level, as you can tell. Not as free form. Okay. Garlic. Damages nearby enemies. Let's get that garlic. See, look, so now I got this aura around me. Um. Rune Tracer passes through enemies, bounces around. I've never done much with Santa water. Let's level up Santa water. I don't know why they didn't go with holy water. They went with Santa water, but it is what it is. This character plays so differently. Yeah, it, depending on what upgrades you get. All right, let's go Rune Tracer. There's the Santa water. I like the garlic, I guess, these little guys. Santa means holy? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's why they call it Santa water. Those rings around me are the garlic. Yeah. 
and you'll see the garlic gets bigger as we it's like the base area will go up by 40 percent if i just get to get it to level two right here um falk and inevitable demise thanks for following i'm gonna do duplicator though weapons fire more projectiles so we immediately get two of those right there more santa waters exactly uh it, also so now we have double santa pools i can duplicate again duplicate again oh now we're cooking with wesson monsters are gonna change soon should be a level there we go Magic wand is nice. Um, let's stick with what we got and level them up for now. Ooh, we got Medusa heads. And we got these green, like, fart spirit clouds. Give me the experience points. little medusa heads aren't that powerful are they coins now we got some chicken over here in case we need it fire wands or axes let's do the fire wand fire the wand uh, will fire in a random direction Why do you want to play this ready? I don't know, Evil Twin Link. I don't know. But you were one of the people I was thinking, you know what? I think Evil Twin Link would like this. I don't, I can't explain this game. I can't explain why it's fun. Uh, Pichon. Pichon is really good. I'm going to grab it. Oh, that'd be my last weapon, wouldn't it? Sure, that's my last weapon. I got my little burb friend. I chose like pretty much all weapons that we didn't have last time. So you're getting the, you get the gamut, the array of potential upgrades. Now, there are things to find on these levels. Like, you can travel a certain distance to the left or to the right, and there'll be artifacts. Like, I think that stone mask, that's one of the achievements I don't have yet. I think the stone mask is, uh, like, all the way in one direction. What, what, what's, what's, what hurts, though, is if I keep going to the left, right? If I keep going to the left, correct? Like, I'm not going to level up very fast, because you really need to do this kind of, like, circular pattern to group up the monsters and farm them. So by traveling, you you kind of hurt yourself a little bit. All right, lightning ring. Let me see if I can take out this mummy here. There we go. What do we got, Santa water? Fire one more projectile, okay. It's a pigeon that bombards everywhere. It is. Peach on. Um, I got to figure out what I want to combine or try to max out. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. I just killed everything on the screen without realizing it with that holy symbol. Still gives us a nice chunk of experience. Pomerola. Character recovers 0.1 hit points per second. I've never had that. Let's get Pomerola. You think this character looks like a pixelated Alucard? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're all vampire hunters. They're vampire survivors, I mean. Yeah.
by the way, if you decide... to, uh... Spend the two dollars and ninety nine cents and give this game a try. Please let me know. I would love to. I would love to know how many Vampire Survivor converts we have today. Not sponsored or anything. Just I want this game to do well for some silly reason. <laughs> yeah. Have I ever played Realm of the Mad God? I don't think so. Bleeding fishes. I'm already playing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good thing Rosewolf isn't here to see you mess up this library. Shh, don't tell her. All right. Um, lightning rings at five. Let's do it. Going all in on the lightning. All right. We lasted five minutes here. I gotta reduce cooldowns because when that lightning hits, you can see the lightning like goes and like destroys them. Bowser says, I bought it as well, rip free time. Be careful with it. I spent five hours in this game yesterday. Box replacement for Summoner's War. Ooh, wings is good. All right, I'm gonna keep going with lightning. Once again, anybody that's just tuning in, all I'm controlling is the character moving and which upgrades I get. The abilities fire on a cooldown without me hitting the button. So keep that in mind. All right, let's go garlic. And let's get this chest over here. Hey, we got a triple! Triple paid. Look at all that gold coming in. Woo -hoo -hoo. 192. All right, so we got two rune tracers, two rune tracer levels, and one lightning level. Okay, sweet. Lots of experience just sitting here waiting for me to take it. Um, Rune Tracer. I would love to upgrade one of these weapons. I've only upgraded one weapon. I've only evolved one weapon so far. I think, no, two weapons. I've done the Bible, I think. Something else. I forget what I did. Um... No, not the Bible. I didn't do the Bible. I did something else. I think it was knife. I can't remember. Let's go peach on. Oh, those banshees explode. Lots of goodies for me. Level me up. Level three Santa water. Lightning is now level eight. Let me see. Do I, um, I have to all tab. I don't know if I, I, I don't think lightning can evolve. Sorry, I'm just getting my cheat sheet up here of how to evolve stuff. I don't, I don't think I can evolve lightning. I don't have all the weapons uh, with that option yet. Um, but we'll get it maxed anyway. Lightning is maxed. Merv says, why does this feel very much like a game for phones or an iPad or something to play on the go? Because it's super simplistic. I'm not doing anything. I know. <laughs> I have to tell you, I bought, I bought, how many times, how many copies of this game did I buy yesterday? Five. I bought five copies of this game yesterday. 
I sent it to Azaria, my two kids, and one of my friends. What's that? I don't know. It was in the box. It was in your PO box. But okay. Fuck that off. Yeah. Right. Look at that later. Thanks. No problem. Um. Empty tome. Empty tome. Reduce the cooldowns. That will mean more lightnings, more fireballs, more everything. need the chicken yet. I'm going to leave the chicken there. All right, let's keep journeying to the left. Oh, this is a big guy here. What's concerning is I don't have anything that really pushes back like the magic wand. And I'm I can't get any more active weapons. We have we have our weapon choices already done. The magic wand pushes enemies back. Um, which I'm already noticing as the monsters get tougher that this is harder to accomplish. All right, we got rid of him. Let's get Rune Tracer up. Lots of experience over here. Blaziken, you picked it up as well? I feel like I'm going to be playing a lot of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to anybody I get hooked on this today. Like I said, not a game I was expecting to... Uh, I didn't expect to find two games this weekend that I'd get super into that came out recently. All right, let's get Pomerola. Oh boy. Bog making the world poorer, three dollars at a time. Um Empty Tome. Oh, we leveled up again. Garlic. What'd you say? Did I buy something for you? Yeah. I don't know why. This packaging, I never see you shop here. I didn't buy that. Huh? What? Who bought it? I don't know. It has your name on it. Let me see it. Oh. Third place. Oh. Damn it. She got all excited. I lied. You just bought me something nice. It was a little surprise. I was so excited. See, now I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble for not buying or something. Oh, I'm joking! You don't I'm just kidding. Joke. Gatorade, speaking of buying things, you ordered your blue PS5 controller? Nice! I uh, I got mine in uh, last week. It looks cool. Wings. Character moves 10% faster. Let's do it. Garlic. So this run has a... Looks like we're going to do better than last run. Why, why'd you say that, Bog? I don't know, because I'm dumb. Rune Tracer. Max level Rune Tracer now. Woo! That was spicy experience. Um, garlic. Uh, garlic! How do you always get garlic? Look how big my garlic is. Oh, come on! I have the biggest garlic. You never get garlic. You never get garlic? You never get garlic. Pichon! I got max lightning 
and Max Rune Tracer right now. Ooh, interesting. This lightning. Is crazy. How's the lightning? Watch the what? <laughs> All yeah. those guys died. Watch. Here it comes again. Yeah, that's too slow for me. Yeah, well, now I've got to work on getting the empty, empty book or whatever it is, so that I can uh, reduce cooldowns. Oh, okay, okay. Reduce cooldowns. That'll make that be awesome. <laughs> garlic. My garlic aura is overpowering. Hey, Desperia just spent 100,000 nanas on a game ball giveaway. Woo! Thank you so much. Mods, whenever you're ready, kick off a game ball giveaway. We're going to give out a game to one lucky wiener. This is getting a little spicy. We're getting a little spicy. Why are these things not dying? Because you just hit a new level. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is encroachment there. That didn't seem to stop them. No, you should have waited until there was more on the screen. Yeah, well, I'm a moron for not waiting for more on the screen. <laughs> ah, I see what I did there. You're making me want to go blog in and play this. I bought you the game. I know. I spent three dollars. I know. Level okay. eight garlic. It's my first time I ever max garlic. I need a new treasure, treasure chest. I love how you can level up and step away or go back to work and I can come back and play. You can pause it anytime. Yeah. Thank you, Marauder, for your handling the giveaway. Gang, this one claim to enter max of 500. We have a whole bunch of games in the vault. I'll even do this, gang. If you win this game vault raffle, okay? And you don't want any of the games from the vault and you want this i'll send this to you tonight how's that we just have to be friends on steam so it's games from the vault or this your choice or this <laughs> i wonder and we'll do that all day how's that you think this is available on humble it's not available on humble really so i checked okay so you can't like buy a couple copies and then add it to the vault nope Damn. Okay. Nope. That's a smart way of doing it then. The, yeah, the game we're playing later, Nobody Saves the World, is on uh, humble. humble. Okay. Yeah. We're not doing that. All right. Come on. Let's get this bat. Give me a treasure chest, bat. We need a treasure. We might be able to evolve a weapon. If we can kill this stupid bat. This bat right next to me is too powerful. There he is. I never saw this. What is this? Soul Eater Evolved Garlic. Steals hearts. Power increases when recovering HP. I evolved garlic. Garlic evolved. You still want another cup? Yeah, please. All right. Look, I evolved garlic. Ooh, what is it? What does it do? I don't know. Oh. It, I just read it. Ooh. What's that? Garlic evolved. <laughs> Garlic. Seriously? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Terrify Live says, hey, can I ask a question about Hidden Deep? How do you get it? It's going to launch sometime today, Terrify. Um, early, early access will begin today. I don't know which time, what time though. I know there's a lot of folks watching uh, my, my silly head over on Steam play it. Uh, but I had early access this weekend. Um, just to make that video yeah but welcome to the stream yeah it's, it's sometime today i just don't have a i don't know what time yeah um santa water is it seven more minutes g1 yeet oh yeah okay nice you're excited it's a it's a really fun game i've definitely enjoyed hidden deep I like don't want to eat this chicken, but all the experience points are around the chicken. Cooldowns. Need more lightning. Need more everything. Yeah, it's wall chicken, exactly. 
Actually, it's it's called floor chicken in this. Floor chicken, they call it. Um, Santa water. Armor. I was tempted to get a tractor orb, but a tractor orb literally does not enhance you in any way except picking up experience points easier. 66 more gold. Pummerola. Crown. More experience points? Let's get that. 7% faster EXP. Santa water. Now you will get to a point as you close in on the 30 minutes, you're gonna get to a point where you can't evolve anything anymore. And then they give you the choice whether to get floor chicken or extra gold. I actually hit that once yesterday. Crown, let's do crown. Closing the raffle, all right, there you go. So what is this game? All right, here comes the raffle. Uh, it's called Vampire Survivors. It's $3, super addicting. All I'm controlling is my character moving and then the upgrade options and trying to survive 30 minutes on a level. Gamer Knight, are you there? You have won a raffle. And thanks so much to Desperia for spending your nanners for the community. There's Gamer Knight. All right, Gamer Knight, send me a message on Discord and let me know your uh, top choice from the vault. Or if you'd like me to uh, buy this game for you instead, um, just friend me on Steam and let me know that over on Discord. Okay, what do we want here? Santa water. This run is going pretty damn well. Man, my, uh, my garlic, my upgraded garlic, like, rips through these guys. Hey, Joan, Santa water. Wow, lots of levels here. Um, crown. So this Medusa here is, I've underestimated her before, and she's killed me almost instantly, so definitely got to be careful. Uh, Don Alertus, 587, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream, everybody. All right, let's get the fire wand going. It's only level two, that can't stand. Fire wand. Oh, look at the delicious fireballs now. This is ridiculous. Phenomenal cosmic power. Need a bit of living space. Crown. <laughs> it's insane how many gems are on the ground. I know we're past halftime. You're right. 30 minutes. We got. We're at 16 minutes. We got to get to 30 to beat the level. I, I don't think I've beaten the library before. Um. Fire one. This Medusa is still up. All oh, these new spirits are tougher. These uh, light blue ones. Hey, we finally beat her. What's that? Fire wand, okay. Level five. 
I was hoping it would evolve something else, but I'm not sure I have the combo to evolve anything else. I've given up my quest to go left. Too much experience over here. Yeah. I got this. Yeet. All right, I'm going to try. Let's try to... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Gotta watch out for those banshees. They blow up. Hurts things. Wings. Movement speed. This is crazy. Um, Empty tome. Reduce our cooldowns is probably our best way to increase our DPS at this point with the amount of lightning and stuff. This is a really crazy run. I'm level 51 already, only at 17 minutes. That might be the highest level I've been, yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, when I hit 30 minutes, I was only level 40 or something. Yeah, so this might be a successful run. Maybe. Maybe, we'll see. I haven't beaten this level, though, so it, there could be things that happen that I don't know about. I love this. This is crazy. Peach Owen or Fire Wand? This is mesmerizing, isn't it? If Azari and I spent... We, we watched this game up to, like, 1 in the morning the other night. Yeah, we, we did. We, we were like, what are we watching? So and then good. she put it on yesterday. We just had it running in the living room, like, all day. It was so good. Yeah. Fire one. Fire one. Yeah. I want that red gem. Oh my god. Peach home. Peach home. Oh, who's this lady? She's not nice. She is oh. unsurly. She is surly. She is uncaring. Wow. Mini boss. Maybe she drops some loot. Maybe she give me a chest. I like upgraded garlic. Like my cheat sheet for how to evolve the items. Ah, okay. You gotta get into level eight and then get the other passive. Oh, I took damage. Chicken! Wow, she didn't die. Wow, she has a lot of health. All right, after she's dead, I'm gonna try going left. If she dies. insane she will not die she does not perish Beach on. there you go all right Let's see. Oh, oh just a single well at least it's a peach home hidden deep is out all right go get it my friends have fun with it how much money how, how much does it cost by the way that we didn't know so stingy, I know, right? Fire one is level seven. Peach Owen is level eight. All right, now we're gonna, I'm gonna try now to make good on my plan to make go left. I don't know if this will succeed. Hey, Aria Zone, what's up? Bro, I'm looking at it, but I only find a supporter pack for eight dollars. Is that what it is? Yeet. Eight dollars? Or is that the supporter pack, not the game? Oh, look at this troll guy. What is this thing? Whoa, and skeletons. Giant skulls. Fire wand is max now. Oh, oh no, don't explode.
18 euros. All right, 10 more minutes, and this will be a complete run. 10 minutes is a long time, though. All right, I'm going to head to the left. Oh, man, there was a lot of banshees. Ooh, we're almost dead. We're almost dead. No! It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. But we got a gifted sub, so it's it's a, it's a mixed, mixed feeling there. Damn! Damn, damn, damn. That was tough. Nice timing, I know, right? Josfell, thank you so much for gifting us up to Regal Peach. If we get three more, we'll do another Game Ball giveaway. Damn, damn, damn. Um, random stuff says, Alex, Steam glitched for me and I couldn't see Hidden Deep is out. Thanks. I came here because of Hidden Deep Steam page and saw your TT. Yeah. Welcome. Anybody that comes from over from Steam... Uh, welcome to the stream. Hit that follow button before you go. Gift, I know you guys are excited. To the friends of the otters. I know you folks are excited about the new game coming out. Uh, but we play a whole bunch of stuff live here Monday through Friday. Uh, currently doing 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. So we'd love to have you. We're we're a playing a uh, couple of games, different t games today. Um, you have died. It is a <laughs> gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Nice timing. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Thank you, FPS. For the bits random stuff thanks for following so it looks like what were you guys saying um 22 40 22 dollars and 49 cents with the sale for uh hidden deep okay nice there you go all right that was a good run i can't believe that was uh i can't believe it ended poorly like that okay so we we unlocked the candelabra door the candelabra door uh, and that gives us the ability well, it's about pre to level up the axes, to evolve the axes. Let's try the hype train when Bog is here. <laughs> Thank you, Dublin Ari. Thank you so much for the bits. Moral of the story, don't go left. I know, right? That's like eight copies of Vampire Survivors. I know, right? All right, let's see what we can do. Power up. Um... Nine thousand to do the duplicator. I can restore my stuff. Let's do armor. Let's do one thing of armor. And check my achievements. Is there anybody who we haven't gotten past five minutes? It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. I think we got everybody, so we can play whoever we want. Umbrasa just gifted <laughs> some to Go Left Productions. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. That was funny. Uh, I'm going to play as Mortaccio with the bone. Gets more projectiles every 20 gesture. levels. Okay. Thank you, FPS. Thanks for the bits. If you go get the Candelabra, are you a Candelabra or Retriever? Ah, that's a good one. Ken the Labrador. Thank you. Thank you for the bits, Bowser. Thank you very much. And thank you, Yeet, for the bit. Bless you for helping with Hidden Deep. For this, I shall grant, I shall follow Otter till death. All right, cool. Hopefully that's a long time. All right, let's try to beat the library again. Or for the first time. For the last time. This will probably be our last run because I want to I wanna show you guys... Um, Nobody saves the world as well. I think you've gotten a scent, a good sense of what this game is about from the two runs we've already done. So this guy throws a bone that a ricocheting bone. It's not that impressive at the start, is it? At the beginning of the game, it's important just don't get hurt. Like, you don't have to, like, jump on the, the gems right away. The gems do not despawn. So whenever you whenever you get around to it. All right, I definitely want to have Axe this run because I want to try to evolve it with the Candelabrador. Trody Axe. Manchild Show says, Why is everyone playing this game? What is the catch? I don't know. 
I've told this story a couple times, but I'll repeat it for you. My girlfriend and I were watching Twitch Saturday night, really late. We saw that this was being streamed. Five minutes into watching, I said something like, why would anybody play this? Almost an hour later, we were still watching it. And so I bought it yesterday because there's only $3. And I spent five hours playing it yesterday. I don't know. I don't know why. It's incredibly addicting for some reason. Five gifted subs. I don't know. So if it's interesting you at all, give it a try. It's three bucks. FPS with a five bomb of subs. Kicking that hype train to the next level. Thank you so much. That means we're going to do another giveaway when we're done with this uh, hype train. And the raffle is going to be for a game from the game vault or a copy of this game if you want to friend me on Steam. So it's up to you. You can have our vault is full of games, hundreds of games in our vault. You can type exclamation point vault and take a look at what we got. And uh, winner of the raffle will get that or a copy of this game. All right, what else do we want? Axe level two? Let's do the cross. We didn't play with the cross last time. There it goes. Thank you, Gamer Knight, for the bits. Oh, look what's sitting right up here on the table. That's a lot of experience. There we go. Uh, do the giveaway um, when we are uh, done with the hype train. Yeah, please. If you can. And we got four minutes left on the hype train, gang, for anybody who wants to get in on it. Um, I gotta go with Magic Wand. I love Magic Wand. I like how this character looks. A little skeleton with a halo on his head. It is a gift to indicate he's a, a good guy to the friends of the otters. Josfeld, just give the sub the Ivy Blade. Ooh, I'm getting hurt here. Okay, that makes us nine newer gifted subs for the day. One more, we'll do a double giveaway. Eighty gifted subs for Josfeld now. Thank you. Um, do I want to go bone? Let's go. I'm gonna try to get axe all the way up. And see what the evolved axes look like. I've never evolved the axes. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I don't feel like we're nearly as powerful as we were last run. Five gifted subs. Oh my goodness. Knight of Mercury with the five bomb of subs. Thank you. All right. Now we're gonna do a double giveaway when the hype train's over. And if we get one more newer gift sub, we'll make it a triple. It's every five newer gifted subs, all stream long. A kind gesture. Thank you, Knight of Mercury. Knight of Mercury's gifted. Remember the one I told you about the chiropractor? It was about a week back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Thank you, Cortana. Thank you, Gardener Girl, for gifting us of the Yale. There we go. We got our 15 gifted subs. That means three giveaways when we're done. And Knight of Mercury, 231 gifted subs now on the channel. Insanely awesome. Thank you. Uh, Candle Labrador. We need this. Augments area of attacks by 10%. We need that for the to upgrade the axe. And if you want to look at how to evolve the weapons in this game... There's websites that have the info. Just, you have to Google it. It's not like written in game, but basically you have to get- Five gifted subs. What is going on, gang? You guys are amazing. Happy Monday. Quadruple giveaway now. Cortana has gifted 256 subs in the channel now. Holy cow. So what I was saying, um about upgrading. You have to get one of the weapons to level eight and then have a corresponding passive that combos with it. And then you can have a chance. Five gifted subs. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, Merm. Another five bomb. Gang, I don't know what is going on. Thank you so much. 338 gifted subs for Merm. And congrats to anybody getting gifted subs. You don't get ads anymore on the channel if you uh, are subbed. Yeah. 
It's Monday. We all survived another week. Thank you, Merm. Automaton, thanks for the bits. Wow. Also the cute emotes. That's true. The otter emotes. Best uh, best otter emotes on Twitch. Done by our amazing artist, Moogletard. We've got some new ones being created as well. In addition to a massive channel art update, which should be coming in the next month. Thank you, gang, so much. Four minutes to go on that hype train. See, this mummy is gonna be a pain in the butt. I feel like I really want garlic. We need, we need garlic. Definitely not killing things at, at the rate our last build was. In fact, I'm feeling kind of weak. I'm feeling a little weak here. <sighs> level up the bone. Let's level up the bone. That sounds so naughty. Go in through shell. Thanks for following. Placated Panda, welcome to the stream. Congrats on your gifted sub. Give me that money. Oop, took a little damage there. Gesture. Sorry, thanks for the bits. Guy Vine. Go, go, go big or go bone. Thank you for the bits. I'm starting to feel like there may be some kind of subliminal message happening in this game, and the thing is, I don't even mind. I know there's something weird about this game. Magic wand, level two, gives me another projectile. I'll push these guys back. Whoa, that was spicy. Ooh, we're gonna go up the middle. Now I gotta get this chest. Axe, okay. Azaria, um, do I, is your Discord message for later? Okay, cool. Oh, play Kid Panda, you're actually a Hawaii girl. Oh, awesome. It's so good to hear from you. What's going on? How you doing? If you want me to swap your hours and clams over from the old account, if you could send me a message on Discord when you have a second, that would be amazing. If you care. Thank you. And welcome. Um. Okay, so this is going to be something new. Do we want whip? No, I'm gonna save my other, my new other abilities. Rune Tracer's not bad. I'm gonna save my other abilities. Let's go Crown. We gotta get some experience points faster. Can you change the tip bit voice so I can bit go bone again? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? Say that again, read that again, but differently? Can you change the tip bit voice to Justin so I can bit go bone again, please? I want to ask for anything else. Do you want it to be Justin that says it? But they got to tip it. I think Justin does the tips and somebody else does the bits. Um, Go bone. All right, hype train is successful. We got level three hype train emotes, gang. Put them in the chat. Choo choo. All right, this is what we're up to. One, two, three, four. This is gonna be a quintuple giveaway. Five winners when the mods uh, kick it off. 
Oh, crap. That one tagged me. That took away half my health. Um, a kind gesture. Go down. <laughs> That's what you wanted. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what was I saying? A quintuple giveaway, five winners. It's for a game from the game vault, or if you'd rather have this game sent to you, let me know that in your Discord message. Friend me, make sure we're friends on Steam, and I'll send it to you tonight. Oh boy, that was that was spicy. We gotta stop the banshees. Man, we are not killing things at a rate that I'm comfortable with. And look at this big tree boss over here. This run is in trouble, I feel. There's the raffle gang. Thanks, Marauder. One clam to enter, max of 500 clams. We're giving away five games from the vault. Or a copy of Vampire Survivors on Steam. Your choice. All right, we can get this chest before the, before the horde gets in. Oh, I really needed a triple prize, but we didn't. Axe, what level is Axe now? Six. Wings? You know what? Normally I don't like a track door, but we need to level up. I'm gonna try it. Glad to hear that you're a little better placated. Oh, oh, I'm gonna die here. And I'm sorry things have been so rough, but it's good to hear from you. It's good to see you. And I think we're about to die right here. Hey, we got another level. Word of our community's acclaim spreads. We're about to die. Epic Otter, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Xandrin. Welcome, Anakin. Thank you so much. What were you guys playing? Fire Emblem. Okay, nice. Space Fire Emblem, hello. Gang, uh, my name is Richie, a.k.a. Bog Otter. Happy Monday. We're playing a very addicting game that's only $3 called Vampire Survivors. And uh, we're having a fun day so far. So welcome to the stream. We're going to play some Nobody Saves the World in a little bit. This might not be our last run of the day. I don't know. I'll have to see. Yeah. And can we get a whole bunch of loves in the chat for Placated Panda and anybody else who's been struggling recently? I know collectively we've had a rough couple of years, but personal things on top of that can just add to it. And everybody needs some love. So fill, fill up the chat with some love. Hey champ, how you doing? All right, I think as soon as I pick this, I'm gonna die, but let's try. Can we get out of this hole? Can we get out of this hole? Signs say not likely. Can we escape? Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. I want to get out of here. I want to leave. I have friends. No! No, that boss! That boss is coming! Wait, the boss went? Come on! Come on, get me out of here! Come on! It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Epic otter! <laughs> How late was your book return? Very late. Epic Otter gifting a sub to Anakin. What is it? Anakin Skywalks. Walker. I'll say Walker. There you go. Thank you so much, Epic. Um, how do I get out of this? Augment's max health. I don't think that's gonna work. 
this. No, 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 oh, no, Made the 10 minute mark. Damn. Damn. Okay. So look, Axe did a lot of damage there. 27,000, level six. Damn, I didn't get to evolve it. There was something with our build that just wasn't jiving. And I knew I, I was gonna I was gonna stop after that one, but you know what? That was only ten. That was only ten minutes. Wonder if I need to do something with this. You can refund all your power ups and then choose different things. Um, <laughs> wonder how much I have. Five thousand. So I can't. Oh, I could I could actually start with just with magnify. I'm not gonna do that, I don't think. Armor? Armor? Movement speed? Movement speed. Um one magnet. One cooldown? One speed? Try that, and let's go with Poe. 25% pickup radius and minus 30 max health. No. Um, I kind of liked Portal LaDonna with the lightning. That was pretty cool. Um, Arca, re weapon cooldown is reduced by 5% every 10 levels. Gains 10% more experience every five levels. Projectiles get 10% faster. Uh, let's go with Arca. In the library. Okay. Giveaways have begun being distributed. All right, what do we got? Regal Peach. This reminds you of Hades in a way. It, it's got the roguelite elements, right, with the upgrades and stuff. Yep. Uh, Regal Peach, yeah, you won. All right, so let me know on Discord uh, what your what you would like. Either a game from the game vault. Give me your top two or three choices from the game vault. Or if you'd rather me send you Vampire Survivors, just make sure we're friends on Steam and tell me on Discord. Hey, Vampire Survivors, please. All right, Gatorade is one as well. This is such a just one more game game. Yes. Yes, it totally is. Dublinari is another winner. 